recently Google announced Chrome OS Flex, and it's this thing that basically brings legit Chrome OS to old aging laptops. We talked about it already, but we haven't really gone into detail on how you can actually get this running on your old laptop right now. So let's do that. Now, we're not going to go into real deep detail exactly about what Chrome OS Flex is and why it's important. We've already made a video about that, so we'll link that in the description if you'd like to check that out. What we really want to focus on today is how you can actually go from taking your old laptop, whether it's a Mac OS laptop or a Windows laptop, and actually getting your drive out, getting the OS image installed, and actually deploying Chrome OS Flex on your device. So let's jump into it. Okay, to get started and get Chrome OS Flex onto your device, the first thing you're gonna need, obviously, is a USB stick because you wanna try this out before you go writing the image to the device. And, and you can try it out as long as you have a device that has a USB port on it. I would advise getting a USB 3.0 stick. We tried it with a 2.0 and it was very slow and kind of uh, had a bunch of performance issues. We switched to a 3.0 and everything works really well. But we've got that uh, already put in the back of this device here. And once you have that in, it needs to be eight gigs gigs or more, uh, it's the, the image, the OS image isn't going to use any more than those eight gigs. So like this one's 128 gig drive. It doesn't make any difference. It's going to write the same image. So you don't have to go try to find something that's larger. This, this USB method is really meant as an attempt to help you figure out if Chrome OS Flex is a good fit for what you need to do. And really what Google expects you to do is then write that image, the disk image over to the hard drive on the laptop. So the first step in getting that going, once you've got your USB stick, it doesn't matter if you're on a Chromebook, if you're on a Mac OS device, if you're on a Windows device, it, it really doesn't matter. As long as you have Chrome, um, you can get the extension just go to Google and search for Chrome OS recovery tool extension and you'll see the Chromebook recovery utility pop up as your first result. If you are on a Chromebook and you're setting up this image from there, uh, the Chrome OS utility is already built into Chrome OS so you don't have to go get this but you can still use the, the extension if you want. I'm going to actually use the extension on this Chrome OS device. It's the same thing. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to add that extension. You'll see it pop up in your extension menus and then we're going to open it and get started writing the image. So once you open up the recovery utility, um, if, if for some reason you've messed around with recovery on your USB stick, I'm just going to throw this in here in case you're messing with this and you forgot about it or whatever, uh, you can go up here and erase recovery media, choose your, your drive and just erase that. Uh, it'll reformat the, the drive to be used again. So in case you're using one that you had used for like a Chromebook recovery at some point in time, you do need to erase that that uh, image that's on there so that you can put this new image in. So we're gonna click get started and right here, you're gonna search for select model from list. So there's, you, you don't wanna uh, populate this field here. You're gonna select from your list. And so the manufacturer is actually just gonna be Chrome OS Flex right there. And then select product. There are no other options. It's just this, it says developer unstable right now. That will go away once Chrome OS generally gets to version 100. Chrome OS Flex is already on the developer version 100. It will kind of be in stride with Chrome OS moving forward. So right now, technically, it's in the developer channel, so it's technically unstable. Uh, we found it to be actually really good and really stable. Once you have those two selected, you could just hit continue, and then you're going to select that recovery media that you put in the device. Uh, so I'm going to select that. It's going to say, is this the correct media? Yes, it is, because it will overwrite whatever is in there. So if, just be sure if you have multiple drives hooked into your uh, device that you're doing this from, make sure it's the right one. So that's why it's giving you this warning. It will wipe everything off of it and start that recovery image. Okay, so we're going to hit continue, and it's going to give you one more prompt to make sure this is what's going to happen. It's all going to go away. We're going to go ahead and hit create now. And even though this is a 3.0 drive and it's a USB 3.0 port back there, and this is a nice fast Chromebook, this is a, a lengthy process. So you're probably looking at, I don't know, somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes, uh, generally speaking. It, that it's going to depend on a lot of things. So our, our internet uh, connection here is very fast. So the downloading process of the image is going to be pretty quick. Uh, but writing the actual image to the drive does take some time. So we'll cut away while this is doing that and then come back once this is finished up. Okay, so after that 
kind of long wait process. Once it's done, you'll obviously see success. Your media is ready. We can go ahead and hit done. I would advise at this point still uh, going to your files app and hitting the eject button here. Just always a good practice whenever you're removing a drive, especially one that contains an OS image. So once you hit that, you're free to take the drive out. And now we move into the real part of this, which is putting this in other devices and seeing if uh, Chrome OS Flex will run on it or not. So we're gonna start things off with the MSI. This is a Windows laptop. It's running Windows 10. Uh, again, this is not on the list of devices. It's not officially supported, uh, but it was the one we had around when we initially tried this and it works just fine. So you're gonna take the USB drive that you just created, go ahead and place it in one of your USB uh, 3.0 slots. So if, if you happen to have a device that's got, especially older devices, will have 2.0s and 3.0s, look for like the super speed or look for the blue on the inside of that USB port. Uh, that's just gonna help things work a little bit quicker. I had to Google how to get to the buy on this so you need to be able to find the boot screen on your device and every one of them's different most Windows devices if you hit F11 when they're booting then you'll get to the boot screen but they can vary and I've had some other ones that are like F1 and function this and all that kind of stuff so for this one it is F11 and it just says to hit it uh, one or two times when you see the logo on the screen so that's exactly what we're gonna do once we see the MSI logo I'm gonna hit F11 a couple times just to make sure it takes and boom, we're into the BIOS, which is the boot screen. I'm going to just arrow down to that USB 3.0 uh, disk that I've got there and hit enter. And what should happen next if your device is supported is you should, after a couple seconds, there's the first time it boots, a lot of times it'll, it'll take a second, you see what looks like a Chromebook boot screen. And just like that, we're ready to go. And it still says cloud ready up here. Remember, this is still in, in uh, developer mode here, so it's not quite ready yet. It even says Cloud Ready 2.0 up there, so they're gonna have to go change some of this stuff. This is actually Chrome OS Flex. Um, so I'm just gonna click Try It first uh, and see, let me just see if it'll let me do guest mode here and get in on the Wi-Fi here. And again, this is, if you've ever set up a Chrome OS device, this should all look very, very familiar. Um, sure, me. Uh, let me just browse this guest down here just to kind of show you all it working. Um, and here's the cool part. And we talked about this in a previous video. Um, you're not going to be able to pick this up on camera, but this is a 144 Hertz display. Guess what? Chrome OS Flex handles 144 Hertz just fine. And then even the function keys down here, uh, like the brightness and stuff is on the arrow keys and it works. Um, so brightness up and down is working how it should. Volume control is on the arrow keys. It works just like it should. Um, so it's, it's pretty nice to be able to see some of these functional keys working. The Windows key, for instance, is your launcher key. So uh, if you want assistant, it won't let me launch assistant. I'm in guest mode, but you could hit Windows A. So all the, the keys are already mapped too and all that stuff really works nicely. Um, and, and additionally, uh, let's go to Chrome Unboxed, and I'll just show you uh, some of your gestures here. So obviously, moving the mouse around works like you'd expect. Uh, a two-finger click gives you your, you know, your right click. Uh, two-finger scrolling works as you'd expect. Two-finger pinch to zoom works as you expect. Two-finger over or three-finger overview mode works as you'd expect. All this stuff just works. Uh, let's see if it'll let me create a desk here. Boom! Give, give me a desk and. Let's go to that one. So four finger desk scrolling works like you do. I mean, this is pretty amazing. Again, you're watching this real time. I made this USB stick. I put it in this computer. This is how Chrome OS Flex is running on this Windows device. And that's it. You're up and running, sign in, you can use it. The one limitation you're gonna see with it is you have a very small, I think three gigs worth of disk space. Uh, and that's all you're gonna get on this. Because again, this is meant to be, you know, I talked to Google about this. This is meant to be a trial. This is meant for you to look at it and go, yes, this is going to work. Most of my functional stuff is working the way I'd expect it to. I'm going to overwrite this thing over onto the actual hard drive of the device. You can see right there, 3.7 gigs available. So this is not meant to be an operational thing. This is meant to be uh, just for you to try out this, uh, this OS on your device to see if it's going to work for you. So next we're going to take it and put it into an old 2010 MacBook Pro uh, that we have here at the office and let's see if it works there. Okay, now on over to the 2010 MacBook Pro. This one's not, I don't think it's on the official supported device list, but again, this is Chrome OS Flex, so we want to try it anyway. Uh, for MacBooks, you hold option as you're turning the device on. 
And as you hear the optical drive kind of kick into gear there, uh, you hear all kinds of 2010 vibes. And hopefully we'll get to the boot screen. There it comes. And um, you obviously have to put in the password that was saved on here um, prior. I don't know that this MacBook set up, but whatever the last password was that was used uh, would have to be used here uh, to keep the drive, obviously the internal drive, safe. So we're going to click to boot from that disk. And that, we've seen that happen, so hopefully uh, hopefully this is going to work this time. All right, so we finally got this booted up from the USB drive, and we do successfully have Chrome OS Flex running on this MacBook, but there are a few things you need to consider here. One is that this USB drive is maybe 2.0, maybe 1.0. USB 3.0 didn't exist back when this thing was made, so there are going to be some issues with performance from time to time while you're trialing it on the USB stick. And that means sometimes it's not going to boot, and sometimes it's going to be running a little bit slower. We have tested this, and when it's running well, it runs quick, honestly. Uh, Chrome OS is pretty nice on here, but so far today, while we're filming, we've been having a few issues with it here and there, and so I'm not really gonna move too far past the screen, except to tell you that if you're running it off the USB stick, have some patience, give it a couple tries, and, and eventually it'll probably work out for you. But if it's an older device like this MacBook here that's serving basically no purpose at this point uh, here in the office, it's just too slow to really run Mac OS on or do anything else on, and you're thinking like, hey, this is booting up, it's at least seeing it and kind of working, you might as well go ahead and try to install uh, Chrome OS Flex on here because you might get some good use out of this device. And it's gonna be hard to tell really when you're just using the USB stick if it's an older device that doesn't have USB 3.0 ports. And speaking of that install process, with this device here, we are gonna make a video of real time, basically saying, you know what, we're gonna install Cloud Ready 2.0. It's gonna wipe out everything on this device and turn this basically into a functional Chromebook. But that's for another video. As far as for this one, that's it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, head down there and hit that subscribe button, and be sure and ring the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.